Hey guys, welcome to Yoga TX. I'm Jen Hillman, and I've made this video for those of you out there that are struggling with chronic neck and shoulder pain. I get it. I have this neck and shoulder pain too, and I know a lot of you are spending time at your desk, driving in the car. There's all kinds of issues that we experience that contribute to chronic neck and shoulder pain, which can also lead to headaches, uh, tight jaw, TMJ, all kinds of issues that can come from tension in the neck and shoulders. This video is gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. So I hope that you can practice along with me and we're gonna to help to reduce your neck and shoulder pain right away. Go ahead and favorite this video. I know you're gonna love it and you'll be able to come back and practice along with me every day. And you can always leave your comments below because it's so great to hear from you guys. Always appreciate your feedback. So once you're ready to get started, just find yourself in a comfortable seat. Really, you could do this sitting on the floor if you like. You could be sitting on the edge of your bed. You could be even sitting on your couch if you want. Wherever you can find yourself in a comfortable seat and just be able to sit up straight pretty comfortably, all right? So from here, sitting nice and tall, lift up through your spine. We're gonna start by lowering your right ear towards your right shoulder. Nice and easy. Just notice where that stretch starts to begin when you feel that stretch across the side of your neck. Then bring your hand up to your shoulder and use your right hand to come up and around towards the side of your head. Now gently pull your hands away from each other, assisting yourself in a little bit deeper stretch. You can always close your eyes here. There's not a whole lot going on. I'm really just taking an inward journey to feel inside your body. And keeping this gentle pressure between your hands, slowly start to roll your chin down towards the floor. So this is a subtle movement, nothing too crazy. You're just starting to turn your chin down and you'll notice how this starts to move the stretch more towards the back angle of your neck. So we just stretch here, find your own little sweet spot, stretch it out, and then we'll slowly begin to roll your chin up towards the sky. Now don't do anything too crazy, all right? Just move nice and gentle, go slow. Feel the experience of the stretch. As you gently roll your chin up towards the sky, you're gonna feel this stretch move more towards the front angle of your neck. And for some of you, this might be where your chronic tension is. So we just feel into it, stretching gently. Then slowly come back to that neutral spot and release your hands and let your head Float back up on top. Go slow. Feel the difference. Then we'll try the other side. First things first, just lower your left ear towards your left shoulder and just notice when you start to feel that stretch along the side of your neck. Tune in. Where do you feel it? What's the degree of sensation? Pay attention to what you're feeling. Now you can bring your hand up onto your shoulder and then your left hand will come up and over to the side of your head. Slowly and gently start to apply a little pressure between your hands, pulling and stretching your neck a little bit deeper. So you can always close your eyes here allowing you to go a little bit deeper into your own personal state of awareness. And then we slowly shift, turning your chin down towards the floor and feel how that stretch moves across the back angle of your neck. Right, so this is my problem area. I feel it the most towards the back of my neck and the shoulders. So this is one that I like to practice. You can do this in the car when you're sitting in traffic. You can do this even in a meeting 
when your boss is rambling on and on. And slowly turn your chin up towards the ceiling. Slowly, slowly, nice and easy. Stretching towards the front of your neck. So this angle is really great for those of you that have tight jaw or chronic TMJ. If you're one of those that grinds your teeth, then the front of your neck will often have a lot of tension. So this is a great way to start to open that up and relax those tight muscles. And then we slowly come back to neutral. And then release your hands. And let your head come right back to center. Nice and easy, yeah? All right, you can slowly roll your head around, making small circles. Range of motion going in both directions. Oh yeah, loosening up here. All right, so now turn your chin towards your right shoulder. Go as far as you can. Notice if your left shoulder starts coming with you, then you've gone too far. So bring your shoulders back to neutral and just turn your chin as far as you can. And now we're gonna do uh, a little stretch I affectionately call the face squish. So you can do it with me. I'll do it with you. Bring your right hand to your right cheek. Now you're gonna apply some pressure, pressing your hand into your cheek as you press your cheek back into your hand. So you're creating some resistance there. Hold it, press. For five, four, three, two, one. Now release your hand and notice if you can let your chin rotate just a little bit further. And then make your way back through center. And we're gonna try the other side. Face squish. Turn your chin to your left shoulder. Keep your shoulders square and just rotate your chin as far as you can. Now take your left hand to your left cheek. Apply that pressure. Press your hand into your cheek as you press your cheek back into your hand, creating equal pressure on both sides, one into the other. Okay, so we're pressing for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release your hand and see if you can turn your chin just a little bit further. It's like it almost goes automatically by itself, right? You feel that stretch deepening. And come back to center. Oh yeah, nice. All right, so now that our neck is loosened up a little bit, we can start to stretch into the shoulders a bit more. So reach your right arm up towards the sky. Stretch up and lift through the right side of your waist. And then drop your right hand behind your back so it comes down between your shoulders. Then take your left arm down and back behind you. You wanna scoop that hand up and your goal is to try and take a hold of your hands behind your back. If that's not happening for you today, it's no worries. You can hold on to your shirt or you could use a towel or your necktie or a belt or a rope or anything you can get your hands on and just hold that between your hands to help you stretch these shoulders open, okay? So we're just taking a moment here to stretch, bringing that left elbow down and back behind you while the right elbow reaches up towards the sky, stretching your shoulders. You can even think about pressing your head back into your right arm to get that shoulder open even more. 
Take another breath here. And then slowly release. Okay, we're going nice and slow today. We don't want to get too wild. <laughs> All right, let it release. And then we can try the other side. So I'll turn around so you can see what's happening behind my back. We're going to start with the left side. Bring that left arm up. Stretch up through your waist so you grow nice and tall. Then lower your hand back behind your head, kind of back behind the nape of your neck. Then your right arm comes down and around. So the goal is to get a hold of your hands, right? So we want to see if you can get that grip. But again, if it's not available to you, you can take a hold of your shirt or you can use a strap or anything else in between your hands. So wherever you are, you want to just find your own personal edge, stretching your shoulders. Lift up nice and tall through your spine, drawing that right arm down, left arm up. And then again, you can think about pressing your head back into your left arm to stretch that shoulder open even more. Take a couple more breaths here. Breathe into the sensation. And then gently release. All right. So now we're going to get just a little bit of mobility through the whole spine, which is going to support your neck and shoulders as well. So interlace the, your hands and press your palms forward. Tuck your chin to your chest, scoop your belly in, round your spine, and stretch your back. Then inhale to lift up, stretch up tall. Press the sky away with your hands. Exhale to release your hands down to the floor or to your seat, wherever you're sitting. Press your fingertips down as you roll your chest to the sky. Take an inhale and a baby back bend. Exhale and gently return to center. We'll move through this cycle two more times. So interlace your hands, press your palms forward as you scoop your belly in, round your spine, and press your palms forward. Then inhale to lift up, growing tall through your spine. Press, press, press your hands up. Then exhale and release your hands down to the floor or to your chair. Press your hands down to lift your chest up. Inhale as you lift your gaze, roll your shoulders back, open your throat, and exhale and gently return to center. We'll do this one more time. Interlace your hands, press your palms forward, scoop your belly in, and round your spine. Inhale to lift up, growing tall as you rise, stretch, stretch, stretch up. Exhale and release your hands down. Inhale to make your baby back bend. Exhale, coming back to center. Take your right hand across to your left knee. Bring your left fingertips back behind you. If you're sitting in a chair, you could even grab onto the back of your chair. Lift up tall through your spine. Take a nice inhale. And then as you exhale, squeeze your breath out as you twist your heart towards the left. Scoop your abdominals up and in. So you feel a little bit of core work here. 
Turn your gaze all the way over your left shoulder so that you feel your entire spine from your sacrum all the way up your spine, all the way through the back of your neck, completely rotates, completely twists. Then we slowly come back to center and prepare for the other side. Bring your left hand across to your right knee. Bring your right hand to the floor behind you or onto the back of your chair, whatever works for you. Inhale to lift up. Exhale and twist. Use the twist to squeeze out the air. Remember that the more you can sit up, the more space you have to get deeper into your twist. Turn your gaze all the way over your right shoulder so your entire spine is included. Your shoulders and your neck. Take another breath here. And at the end of your exhale, allow yourself to float back to center. All right, so that will do it for our neck and shoulder stretches for this video. I hope that you're finding these little exercises helpful. If you go ahead and favorite this video, you can pull it up any time that you need a stretch and just take 15 minutes to loosen up these areas of tension. You know, it's amazing. Just taking 15 minutes a day to stretch this neck and shoulders can make such a difference in how much stress and tension you carry. Can reduce your headaches, can reduce your jaw tension, can help you sleep better at night, all kinds of benefits. So I hope that you will follow along with me again and again. Don't forget to subscribe to the Yoga TX channel. I've got new videos coming out for you every Thursday. And you can also visit our website, yogatx.org. We've got some awesome full length videos, some one hour flows that you can download right there on our website. And you can also sign up for our newsletter and get weekly updates on all kinds of cool things we've got going on here at Yoga TX.